Hey guys, it's Jade. So, um, I'm going to do my first video on rice water. Um, so I've been doing a lot of research just in general on how to grow my hair and things like that. I mean, with my last routine that I had, it worked out pretty well. My hair grew really fast and it was really moisturized and it was great. And then of course, as you know, I, um, basically slacked off for a bunch and I didn't do my hair for a long time and I let it get dry and I just did all this stuff to it that basically kept it from being moisturized and I cut it off. Okay, so. Um, so basically I just, I decided to do it and I looked up a couple of videos and one of the videos I will do a link to that one in the description box because that's the one that I used. She just is really informative. She really knows what she's talking about. And I just, I enjoyed it. Um, so here's my jar <laughs> that I use. As you can tell, I've already used the water. I basically, I washed the rice in a bowl, like she said, and then I strained that out and then I put in new water. And I actually, so she said there were two different ways to do it. I actually did the fermented way. The first way is where you just let it sit for like 30 minutes, mash, mash, let it sit. Once the water gets cloudy, then you can use it. But since I was deep conditioning anyway, um, I do deep conditions. I usually try to do them twice a month or twice a week, but um, sometimes I let myself go a little longer than the Sunday and Wednesday just to give my hair some time to breathe. Um, but that's what I did the first time and that's what really worked for me. So this time I just decided to deep condition my hair today instead of Wednesday, today, Saturday. And I figured I was going to do an apple cider vinegar wash since I don't use shampoo. And then I actually had to pour this into a water bottle or just like a big thermos because I was not about to take glass into the shower with me. I can't see conditioner in my eyes. I drop this. We both die. I mean, I don't know. I didn't do the full 24 hours, but I did let it sit for, I think, like 15 hours or so. I believe so. Um, and it was, it smelled kind of weird when I opened the jar, but then now, like I didn't even use my conditioner yet and my hair just smelled really good, which was weird because I thought it would smell like the rice water, but it didn't. Um, anyway, so I got in the shower and I poured it all over my head and I drenched it and then I washed up so that it could sit for a little bit and then I rinsed it out. And I am telling you, I feel like it's not results as far as length, but just the way my curls formed like immediately and they were just like perfect little coils. I was just like, that has to be the water. Mm -hmm. And um, so then after that, I put in shea butter, I put in my growth oil mix, and then I put in some of my leave-in conditioner. Not in that order, of course. Um, can't remember what way I do it. I kind of just do it. It's a little muscle memory now. Anyway, so I plan on doing this every single time that I usually would do an apple cider vinegar rinse. Now that is every Sunday. I do the deep condition either the night before or the day of it. I just let it sit all day. And then I do apple cider vinegar, conditioner, blah, blah, blah. But I think I'm going to do the rice water rinse every single Sunday. And then on Wednesday, I'll do my deep condition. And then I'll just do a regular co-wash like I usually do. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. That's basically my first video. I don't know what I'm going to do for the next videos, but I hope to get them out every Saturday. And then, of course, please tune in on Sundays. I do book reviews every Sunday. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks. Bye.